everyone, my name is Kim. I am the Child Development Specialist here at Lamp Erlion, and today we're going to be looking at the science behind songs and rhymes and why is it so important for your little one's development. But first, let's start with some songs. And I'm going to say hello to all of my friends first. I hear the choo-choo train coming. Chugga 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 The hello train is coming, how are you? Choo choo The hello train is coming, how are you? Choo choo The hello train is coming, the hello train is coming, the hello train is coming, how are you? Choo choo Say hello to my friends, how are you? Choo choo! Say hello to my friends, how are you? Choo choo! Say hello to my friends, say hello to my friends, say hello to my friends, how are you? Choo choo! Yay! Good job, my friends! And let's keep clapping our hands! Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap, clap, clap your hands. Clap your hands together. Just a little bit faster. Here we go. Clap, clap, just a little bit faster. Clap, clap, just a little bit faster. Clap, clap, just a little bit faster. Clap your hands together. And a little bit slower. Here we go. Clap. Clap just a little bit slower. Clap, clap just a little bit slower. Clap, clap just a little bit slower. Clap your hands together. Good job. And now I want my friends to put their arms up in the air and wiggle our fingers. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a diamond in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Yay! And now let's catch our itsy bitsy spider. Do you have an itsy ready? You want to see it? <laughs> the itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. And he went up and up and up and up and up until he was gone. But he made room for the... That's right, the great big spider. So if my friends found it too hard to do the itsy bitsy spider, maybe you guys can try the great big spider. Ready? The great big spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed that spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. So the great big spider went up the spout again. And he went up and up and up and up and up until he was gone. Let's say bye bye to both spiders. And now, what do I have here? Can my friends take a guess? at what this is. Do 
That's right, it's a bus. So my friends, if you guys can help me with the actions, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna do wheels on the bus. We're gonna do wipers on the bus. And then we are going to do driver on the bus, children on the bus, and babies on the bus. And then mommy's on the bus when they say, I love you. So can we practice those actions together before we sing? The wheels on the bus go round and round. Wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Driver on the bus says, move on back, please. Children on the bus go up and down. Babies on the bus cry, wah, wah, wah. And mommy and parents on the bus say, I love you. So my friends at home, I hope you can do the actions with me as I sing it, ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. The driver on the bus says, move on back, please, move on back, please, move on back. The driver on the bus says, move on back, please, all through the town. And the children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus go up and down, all through the town. And the babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 The babies on the bus cry, wah, 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 all through the town. And the parents on the bus say, I love you, I love you, I love you. The parents on the bus say, I love you, all through the town. We ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Yay! Okay, my friends. I don't know about you when you're seeing this, but for me today, it's kind of gray outside. So let's call out. Mr. Sun and I want my friends at home to make a big sun over your head. Ready? Oh Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on me? Oh Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, he's hiding behind a tree. peek a -poo. These little children are asking you to please come up so they can play with you. Oh, Mr. Sun, Sun, Mr. Golden Sun, won't you please shine down on, please shine down on, please shine down on me. Yay. You are my sunshine. My only sunshine, you make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. So please don't take my sunshine away. Good job, my friends. And speaking of Mr. Sun, Let's sing if you're if you're happy and you know it, right? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. 
If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. But what happens if you're not happy? What if you're scared? If you're scared and you know it, call a friend. Hello? Hello? If you're scared and you know it, call a friend. Hello? If you're scared and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're scared and you know it, call a friend. Hello? Who else can we call? We can call our parents, grandparents, right? And if you're sad and you know it, cry boo If you're sad and you know it, cry boo If you're sad and you know it, and you really want to show it. If you're sad and you know it, cry boo But, what happens if you're not that either? What happens if you're angry? If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. If you're angry and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're angry and you know it, take a breath. But what if you're not that either? What if you're excited and you know it? Shout hooray! Hooray! If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! If you're excited and you know it, and you really wanna show it. If you're excited and you know it, shout hooray! Hooray! Good job, my friend. All right, I think it's time for us to blast off into space. What do you think? Uh, I will be able to jump just because then you won't see my face. But when I say five, four, three, two, one, blast off, I want all my friends to get really low and jump as high into the air as they can. Ready? Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Oh, if you want to take a trip, climb aboard my rocking trip. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Let's count down from five, get low, four, three, two, one. Blast off! Let's do that one more time, but this time we're going to count up. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. Zoom, 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 we're going very soon. Oh, if you want to take a trip, climb up on my rocket ship. Zoom, 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 we're going to the moon. For one, two, three, four, five, and blast off! Good job, my friends. And now, I have here, as we continue to count, I have here our little duck friends and Mama Duck. Let's count how many duck friends we have today. We have one, two, three. So let's put that in here. So we have three ducks. Are we ready? Three little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 but only two little 
ducks came back. Let's count. We have one, two. <gasps> two little ducks went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. Oh no, there's one now. One little duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama duck said quack, 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 quack. But none of the little ducks came back. Sad Mama Duck went out one day over the hills and far away. Mama Duck said quack, 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 quack. <gasps> but what do we have? <gasps> All of her three little ducks came back. Yay! All right, so our last song is gonna be Down by the Bay. Are we ready? Down by the bay where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mama would say, Did you ever see a cat? Wearing a hat down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mama would say, Did you ever see a fly wearing a tie? Down by the bay, down by the bay, where the watermelons grow. Back to my home, I dare not go. For if I do, my mama would say, Did you ever see a snake eating? Eating what? What was a snake? Some cake. Down by the bay, down by the bay. Where the watermelons grow, back to my home, I dare not go, for if I do, my mama would say, did you ever see a, hmm, what animal should we do? Did you ever see a frog? Ooh, a frog, what rhymes with frog? Carry a log down by the bay. Good job, my friends. So now that we've sang those wonderful songs and read some of those books, let's delve deeper into the science behind music and rhyming. Um, like all the best learning experiences in early childhood, music and rhyme and rhyming books um, simultaneously promote development in multiple domains. So when we're singing to our very young one a lullaby while rocking them, it really s stimulates early child uh, language development and promotes attachment that supports an infant's growing spatial awareness as the child experiences their body moving in space. So we are going to go through all the, the different developmental domains and how music and rhyming um, actually affects those different domains. So first we're going to start with the social emotional development. Um, through the power of music and songs and rhymes, um, they can actually learn how to practice self-regulation. Um, so, for example, lullabies, your little one might have a specific lullaby that they really love, um, and that really soothes uh, young children. So when uh, us as the caregivers help our little ones to calm down, um, especially through songs and rhymes, we're actually supporting the development of self-regulation 
Um, and the experience of being soothed also helps babies and young toddlers learn how to soothe themselves so that when they get um, in the preschool, older toddler age, they can start being able to do that themselves. Songs and rhymes are also great for having your little one understand emotions. So singing about feelings help our little ones learn the words to describe their, uh, their emotions or their emotional experience. Um, if you're happy and you know it, like we sang earlier, is a great one to do. Um, but even songs uh, that might not necessarily uh, talk, talk outright about feelings, you can express it through your actions, through your facial expression as well. Uh, the fact is that music always evokes feelings, even when there are no words. Uh, in one study, um, they found that babies as young as five months old are able to, under some conditions, um, actually be able to pick out between happy and sad music. Music also has a way of um, building relationships. If you think about it, music is one of those activities that really doesn't require sharing. And if you've been watching the developmental milestones videos that I had been posting, um, you'll know that for young children, sharing is a very hard concept for them to understand and to grasp. Uh, so this is one of a, gr a great starting point because um, if there's uh, you and your little one singing together or a sibling or a family member um, that lives with you and you guys are singing together, um, quite often you're singing in a team um, and each participant is kind of, each child is adding their own voice to it. So speaking of which, uh, music can start to encourage sharing and turn-taking. Uh, music very naturally encourages turn-taking. Um, you can be passing instruments back and forth to a, cheat, um, to a caregiver, or you can take turns. Um, if you are singing a song and you pause, um, you can wait for their turn to see if they can finish uh, the, the sentence structure for you. Music and rhyming is a great way to kind of build on their self-esteem, their self-confidence. Uh, young toddlers and babies develop a sense um, that they are kind of like important and competent um, when they can make an impact on their world. Uh, so think of it when your little one, for the first time, discovers something new um, and they have just the biggest smile on their face. Um, so that can go if you're introducing maybe an instrument uh, to the mix um, while you guys are singing together. This is also a great way to promote and develop cultural awareness. So playing songs and using musical styles or instruments um, from your home culture creates continuity. Um, and this kind of nurtures uh, your little one's feelings um, and also just builds on that cultural awareness. So moving on to our physical skills or our physical development, in terms of gross motor, and as you noticed while we were singing, we were doing a lot of actions earlier, um, and this is a, a great way to promote fine motor and gross motor, um, but when we think of music, uh, we think of dancing, and dancing is a great way to try to promote gross motor, uh, motor skills. Um, you can dance to both fast and slow music, um, or if they're very little, they can be held and rocked back and forth, just like when we do row, row, row your boat. Um, and then making musical sounds by uh, either using your hands to clap or jumping up and down is another great way. And in terms of fine motor skills, uh, those songs like Itsy Bitsy Spider, Open Them, Shut Them, The Wheels on the Bus, these are all great ways to kind of promote those fine motor developments as it can um, support the development of small muscles in your little one's hands and fingers, 
um, which are the same muscles that they will need to use to write and to draw when they are older. So this really helps strengthen those muscles. In terms of balance and body awareness, uh, when you're moving to the music, so when they're dancing, they're, they're shifting their weight back and forth between one foot to the other, and that really will try to help promote uh, their balance skills. Um, and you can try to do this because they'll probably want to copy you in your movement. So when you guys sing, you guys can dance. Um, maybe if they're a little bit older, you can try hopping on one foot. As for body awareness, moving different parts of your little one's body, um, or if they're very young and infants and they allow you to, you can move their body. Um, while you sing songs helps them learn that th these body parts that they have like do actually belong to them. Head and shoulders is a really good one. Um, the hokey pokey is another good one. And finally for physical development, um, songs and rhymes really help with crossing that midline. So crossing the midline is a very important thing because um, it requires them to actually use one part of their body in the space of another part. So for example, I'm using my left hand to pass something onto my right. Now that, that looks like a simple gesture, but that actually requires a lot of communication between both sides of our bodies and a lot of coordination um, that, that takes a little bit of time to work on. So that's something very important that needs to happen um, and so passing musical instruments around or if you have like a xylophone or a makeshift drum um, and they can start banging on the drums and stuff like that to try to cross the midline. Hokey pokey is another good one to, um, to do. In terms of cognitive development uh, with songs and with rhymes uh, counting is one of the things that usually comes to mind because a lot of these songs includes numbers and countings and a lot of books, a lot of rhyming books um, has a lot of counting too. So Five Little Monkeys, um, The Ants Go Marching, um, what else, The Zoom Zoom Zoom, those all have um, numbers and counting in them uh, and those are just very few examples. And then the rhythm and the repetition and the beat of either the song or the, the rhyming book um, makes it easier for uh, our little ones to remember the sequence of numbers. And in terms of sequencing, um, there's also patterning. So almost every piece of music, whether it's children's music or the music um, that we as the caregivers might listen to on our uh, personal time, um, has some sort of pattern or sequence built into either the melody or the lyrics. So learning to anticipate patterns um, and place objects or events in sequence builds very critical early math and early reading skills. So true songs that are very true songs and books that are very repetitive in rhythm or in the lyrics to help them learn how to anticipate the patterns. So Old MacDonald had a farm, um, a farmer in the Dell, all those wonderful songs. Uh, music also holds a very powerful place in our memory. Um, I don't know about you, but when I was in university to help me study and to help me remember the content better, I always made songs out of the things that I had to study for. Um, and even young, young babies as young as eight months have shown um, to recognize a familiar piece of music after a two week delay. So providing consistent music and songs or uh, rhyming books helps your little one remember the link that music to a particular experience. So for example, if you if your little one has a little bit of a hard time with transitions, maybe try introducing songs um, to your transition so that they, whenever they hear the music, they can associate with some sort of transition. They can also um, now also do observation of differences. 
uh, through experiences with different instruments, uh, types of music, different voices, children slowly become aware of differences in pitch, tone, and volume. So even little ones, if you've ever uh, changed your voice and your, your little baby looks surprised when you change your voice, um, that's uh, something that happens as well. And then lastly, for cognitive skills, uh, pretend play and symbolic thinking. So um, using one object to represent another. So for example, if you've created a musical instrument on your own or you're using a pot and a pan um, to make it as a drum, that's actually a really uh, big leap in children's thinking. Um, pretend play and symbolic thinking is actually very, um, is a sign that your little one's brain is definitely maturing. Um, using a stuffed spider when singing Itsy Bitsy spy, um, Spider or maybe a different doll is also another great way. Finally, language and literacy skills. When we think of songs and rhymes and reading books that um, are repetitive and rhyming, um, language and literacy skills is the area of development that we think of most, um, that has the most impact on it. And especially with the rhyming books, um, it's just one of those things, um, it allows them to not only kind of have a love for literacy, even though they might not um, be reading it, but you reading it to them, um, as well as rhymes. So for spoken language, uh, music and rhyming books give our little ones um, an easy, um, to enter window into practicing uh, language. So we can modify the words in well-known songs, or if you have a preschooler, you can ask them to fill in the blanks when you sing. So again, like I mentioned before, you kind of stop and pause. Um, if you have, or if you are trying to get your little one to speak um, two or more languages, uh, music and rhyming books are a great way to um, help introduce different languages as well. And it also links back to that cultural piece that I mentioned earlier. Offering music experiences in your home language supports dual language development uh, within the first uh, four years. And it's also a great means to involve family, um, the rest of your family, um, as they share songs and rhymes that maybe they grew up with as well. As well, um, it works on the receptive language. So again, even if your little one is too young to be speaking um, or they might not be able to say certain words, if you um, think back to, for example, Sleeping Bunny always comes to mind um, back when drop-in was still open and available because um, you, you would see it, all, like when we started singing Sleeping Bunny, all the children, no matter if they were speaking or not, automatically um, went to the floor to pretend to sleep. So this is something very important to do because songs and rhymes make it easier for our little ones to kind of have a better understanding of those words, especially when an action uh, is placed with it as well. And lastly, for language development, phonic awareness um, is pretty much how well our little ones can hear, recognize, and use different sounds. So for example, um, the word hat, there's the ha sound, and then the a ah and the t. So hat uh, and cat. So our little ones who are able to distinguish different sounds and um, are more likely to develop stronger literacy over time. So music and the rhyme and the rhythm that goes with rhyming and rhyming books and music really supports this critical skill because most songs and rhymes, um, most songs include rhymes 
And all of the, uh, the rhyming books have rhymes as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. Um, and I'm, I hope you guys enjoyed the songs and the information. And if you have any questions, my email is always in the description box below. Make sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Follow us on Facebook. And I will see you all next time. Bye, everyone.